With story questions, I tend to use the answer choices to kind of work backwards and understand the story in reverse. Because if I try to just absorb all this, I'm not gonna know at first which pieces of information are most important. Um, but the answer choices tell me that there's kind of this, there's two things going on, right? There's a park and there's a residential area. And, and I guess the beginning of the question tells us that too, right? There's a two hectare park and there is a 35 hectare residential area. Now, when they ask for the X, we can see in the equation that the X is attached to the two. So the two goes with the park and we can also see, right, the Y and the 35 go together. So now I'm not really thinking yet about what the X means. I just know that it means it has something to do with the park. So that's where my brain is going. I'm like, okay, choice A is about the park. Choice C is about the park. And choices B and D are not. So right away, I'm at a 50-50 shot just by being able to kind of connect a variable with half of the story. Now I have to be a little bit more understanding of the story. What would the X represent? The average number of trees per hectare in the park or the total number of trees in the park? Well, if the whole equation is giving me the total number of trees in the neighborhood of 3,934, we wouldn't want the X by itself to be the total number of trees in the park. Because then why would we multiply that by two, right? The two is the number of hectares. So it's almost like if we did that, we'd have two parks. But if it was the total number of trees in the park, then I would just add that to the total number of trees in the residential area to get my 3,934. So the X by itself is not that. The X is kind of like being multiplied by, um, or it's kind of like behaving like a rate. The average number of trees per hectare in the park, because there's two hectares. So the, the reason we're multiplying by two is because that we take that average and there's two hectares, so that's where we get our total from. So choice C is actually not X, it's the quantity 2X. Um, and so it's kind of part of the story in the equation, but it's not the specifics that they ask for. I will say though, I have seen SAT questions where they ask you, what is the interpretation of 2X in the equation? So there's lots of ways that they could ask you about this exact same style of equation and the answer will be different depending on what they are asking for. But regardless, I would start with the idea that there are two rates, two types of things, and if you can sort through half the choices just by picking the right thing of the two, then that'll at least kind of declutter the question so you can understand it more easily. Um, but yes, with any story question, my goal is to kind of marry the question with the answer choices and kind of work towards the middle rather than just read this thing and try to understand all of it right away. My brain is just not that good at processing that much information.